Okay, so I finally, that was a chair by the way, I did not just fart, got a PS5 and I've been absolutely enjoying Demon Souls and uh, Daddy Virgil mode in DMC5, but what I'm really excited to do is jump into the RE8 demo. I have not played this yet, uh, I'm very excited. I just got off doing uh, Platinuming RE7, so I did everything that there is to do in that game. So I'm very excited to get even just a little, just a little taste of RE8. We've got like a little over a month. What I'm mostly excited for is to see what the RE engine can do on the, uh, let's do headphones. Um, what this can do on the PlayStation 5. I'm very excited. Just barely visible. I can't see it at all. No matter what. Oh, there it is. I'm going to turn it up a little bit for the video. Let's, uh, let's do that. Yeah. Hopefully that'll be good. Data processing. Well, considering they just had a big big hack. I don't know exactly if I trust Capcom with my data, but, uh, I must give them my data. Share play data turned on. I don't know if this has re.net, uh, functionality, but I would highly doubt it. Alright, let's just jump in. Now, I wonder if this is going to be more along the lines of the re... 7 demo or the RE3 demo? I think it's gonna be like the RE7 demo where it has nothing to do with the actual game. Let's see. There does not appear to be a block like there was in 7. So, we'll see. It feels basically the same. <gasps> Spooky. Yeah, I haven't seen anyone play this. I haven't, uh, I haven't seen this at all. I hope this note will be of some assistance. You don't know me, but you have to trust me if you want to survive. Get out of the cell. Look around for the way. Get on your hands and knees. So they're basically just being like, "Hey, this is a game in first person. Look everywhere." I will say it does control slightly more, like slightly differently than than RE7 does. Is that a turlet? No, it's just a chair with a hole in it. It said get on your hands and knees and look, but I don't see nothing. It'd be funny if it was just unlocked. That looks like something, but I don't think it is. The the camera movement is kind of more sickening in this one, which is strange. Alright, I'm going to say it's something in the wall. Watch me get stuck here. This is probably incredibly embarrassing. Pull those chains out. Oh, I mean, there's a hole there. That seems awfully convenient. God, I just want the, the hot vampire mommy to bully me. I mean, what? I didn't say anything. Don't worry about it. The PS5 is, is surprisingly quiet as a console. I was not expecting that. Because again, playing RE7 on my base PS4 was like it was about to just take off. Okay, medicines. Nice. I am not livestock, but I do need to be kept alive. Again, I have no idea if I'm playing as Ethan right now, so I'm just going to assume... Yeah, the head bobbing is way weirder in this one. I might even turn that off. I have a feeling it's because this one is not in VR. No, Jimmy the Lock with the piece of paper. That's all you gotta do. 
the thing I think I'm the most excited for in this game, besides, of course, the, the tall vampire woman, is um, just the gothic kind of location in this one. I like the just kind of normal, help me, brother, um, you know, normal-ish location from the first, or from seven, but um, I'm, I definitely want them to take it in a weirder direction in this game. And that is what it looks like they're doing. This game looks significantly better. Like, you can actually go up to things and see their textures. Whereas in RE7, since it was made for VR, the textures are way lower quality. They haven't said anything about this being VR. I'm very interested. That guy is missing his legs. Nice. That does not look like a comfortable chair. Just gonna, just gonna throw that out there. Again, just jimmy it open with the, with the piece of paper. Alright, so clearly I'm looking for some sort of a lock. Wait, did I miss this? Wait a minute. Did that lady fall down? Is this the help me bro- is this the Hulk Hogan cell? The help me brother? Yeah, okay, that, that lady moved. That's uh, a little concerning. See, this is just like the RE7 demo where they had just babies falling from the, the ceiling, and I did not like that. But also, it was not very indicative of the final game, so who knows. Because I remember I made a video about that, and I made a point to be like, there's just a baby that just flies from the, uh, from the ceiling, and it's not very scary. Is there a quick turn? Yes. Nice. I hear running, and I don't like it. I think this is uh, not a normal demo. Like, I don't think there's any combat in this. I think it's just... Like, they it was like a tone demo, basically. They just want you to walk around and vibe out. This game gives me hella Bloodborne vibes, which is... Uh, very exciting that we can get the gameplay of Resident Evil and the like mood and atmosphere of uh, Bloodborne. This is a very pretty looking game already, and I'm only viewing this at 1080p right now for because I'm recording this. Definitely gonna go back in at at 4K. We'll get all four of those Ks. Vampire mommy. Is that you? Please, I must have someone bully me. I mean, I'm not into that. Dance macabre. This stinks so bad. Me looking at Dead Rising 4, am I right? <laughs> Yeah, I'm hoping none of this is in the actual game, because that was the problem with the Resident Evil 3 demo. I love Resident Evil 3 Remake, but the best part of the game is in the demo, and it kind of ruined the experience. And the demo of Resident Evil 7 was basically completely divorced from anything in the actual game. Can I just crawl along the ground like a, like a worm? and have the vampire mommy stomp me. I mean, what? Uh, I didn't say that. Nobody said that. You're hearing things. What? Okay. It's weird that there's no block, but also, like I said, I don't think there's any combat in this. But I miss seeing my character's arms. 1958, Jesus. It was my first day working at the castle. Wait. It was my first day working at the castle today. I was shocked to see the masters of the house were all women. Hell yeah. The mistress and her daughters were very adamant that they wouldn't bite. Ooh. It was quite peculiar. Also, we've called her the, the tall vampire woman. I feel like there's nothing that actually says she's a vampire. But, I don't know. It's been two weeks since I started working at the castle and I'm a little afraid. Another maid, Adela, made a mistake and Miss Daniela slashed her face with a knife. Is that a Haunting Ground reference? Miss Daniela? 
Hmm. And at night, I can hear wailing as if ghosts run the halls. I want to go home. I don't know what to do. Young ladies were complaining it was too hot and stuffy during dinner, so I opened the window just to crack. Yeah, okay, they are they are vampires. For sure. Because in the trailers, there's like nothing that, that speaks explicitly vampire. And I figured when the game came out, people were going to be like, Ooh, well, they're not actually vampires. Or Capcom was going to do like a last minute rewrite and just be like, Look, they are vampires. The community willed it into existence. Everyone's a vampire. Chris is a vampire. Come on, hon. We can do... We can do ray tracing. I've seen Devil May Cry 5. We can do reflections. We don't need to have empty mirrors like this anymore. Yeah, see that, like, jerk forward? Oh, sniff her clothes. Whoever I'm playing as, do it. This is getting weird. I do not like that noise. It's like everything that I pick up just is, like, spooky. It's spook central. Wow, look at that. Look how good it looks. You would never be able to do that in RE7. Look like a PS2 thing. What was I saying? Oh yeah, the, the weird jerk motion with the stepping forward, I don't really like that. Also, you can't see your feet anymore. Aww. I like being able to see my character's feet. I thought that was someone standing there. That's not good. Can you hide? Go under the table. <clears throat> yeah, I hope they keep this mainly off limits. I don't want to explore too much. I want to see it in the actual game. <gasps> there she is. Let me view her. Mm. Hide in a suit of armor. Damn, I love just being like, look at that. That's just like a screenshot right there. You can just be like, yeah, that's uh, a screenshot of the game. Okay, glad there was nothing in there. I also gotta say, so far, I don't know if I like the, the PS5 controller or not. It's just kind of... It's too heavy. It's too big. It's too wide. I like the PS4 controller a lot. I do like the... Uh, Mm, look at me. I am a statue. Oh, uh, the triggers. That's her. Oh, no, it's just more of her clothes. Damn, look how tall she is. That's insane. I don't want to, like, accidentally find a trigger and then be like, have the demo be over. But I also want to explore. So I gotta strike a balance. I feel like going down into that main area will end it. But also maybe I don't have a choice. That is just no good. This is- that's a bad door. I don't want it. Imagine getting up to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night and then just like looking over and seeing that. We would in fact hate to see it. It's like bleeding out of its eyeball. That's no good. <laughs> Mother? Looks like this is more optimized for gameplay because there was some weird frame rate stuff that just happened there. Okay, alright, they're drinking blood. They are straight-up vampires. I went into this thinking there's a chance that they're not vampires because no one ever said anything about them being vampires. But, uh... They are absolutely vampires. I was staunchly anti-vampire, but now... Now I am not. Irina Mi Mikhail. Mi Mikhail, yeah. That is not a name. Are they? I can't see what you're wearing, bro. Or ma'am. Gotta give me something. Oh, come on, you could read that. 
Unless it's like in Romanian, you can't read it. No. I know how this is gonna end. I'm gonna turn around. There's gonna be something like right behind me. Or not. See, you don't follow the blood. You run away from it. Damn, this is very moody. I like this already. I think this is a better location right off the bat than uh, RE7. Very excited to actually just rip into this game and just play it non-stop. Alright, that's obviously like... You're not going to be able to go outside. Or maybe I have to. One of the table. Insert the necklace. Where else can I go? Unless again, all of this is just for the demo, and like as soon as I get out here, I die. Did I try this one yet? I did. What's that noise? It sounded like someone just hissed at me. I already did that. Is there a map? No. I mean, at this point, I might as well just sit on this couch and wait for someone to come, uh... Come see me. In the vase, maybe? No. Check under the table. I swear to god, it looks like you should be able to hide. Oh, hello. This is like a good little goblet here. I would drink out of this. Okay, so does that count as an eyeball? How- wait. Maybe... Can I take- yep. <laughs> Can't fool me. I've played at least one Resident Evil game. <gasps> Interesting. I wonder if she can see me or if that was completely scripted. <laughs> oh no, don't catch me. <laughs> that would be bad if you had to bully me. Hell yeah. Yeah, it looks like, like, I don't even know, like, if that thing, if, if one of these women were to chase me around here, I don't know where I would even hide. Like, in Resident Evil 7, there were, like, hiding places. In this, I really don't know. Courtyard key. So that's to the other room in the dining room. Some skulls. Some drawings of some skeletons. Castle Dimitrescu can be traced back to the 15th century. Alcina, El Florida, Dimitre, uh, Dimitrescu. That's 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 my there. That's mommy. Maiden's blood kept in a special ornate bottle. I'm assuming that's where the maiden in the maiden demo comes from. I'm assuming this is just some sort of a game that they play to, like, just toy with whoever, like, I'm I am. You. What? Whomst? Someone just said something. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, it's the wrong door. I won't last until dinner. Oh, Jesus. Let me get out of here. <laughs> okay, they're, yeah, they're, they are vampires. Um, I wonder if this is the lady, because one of the, the vampire ladies looks like they reused Claire's facial model from Resident Evil 2 Remake, and it's, like, incredibly obvious. But it also could just be that the person looks like, um, you know, it just looks like Claire, who knows. Oh, there she is. So we finally meet. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> oh no, don't. <laughs> oh man. Thank you for playing through our visual showcase. You're welcome. And thank you for letting me play it. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Burning Blaze. Wow, so there's like some stock effects in here. That's interesting. Jesus. What is this? That was weird. Uh, yeah, that was cool. I can't wait. I cannot wait to, uh, to play the video game. I think that is going to be great. If I do say so myself. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. This is just a little dumb little thing. I figured I did it for two and three. Might as well get my initial reactions to the demo here too. So what is that little timer thing under there? Oh, I guess that that's you could buy it now, but it, you can't get it now. I think that's what that means. I like how she is a like she's just something that they're showing. Like, hey, you want you want to play this game? You get Vampire Mommy. I think that's uh, pretty great. And yeah, that would probably be pretty easy to uh, like speed run that. People probably got that down pretty quick. But uh, yeah. I will see you, I guess, when the full game comes out. Or maybe when the next RE-verse beta happens, because I think it's open for everybody, and I'm kind of curious. So, uh, see you then.